My name is Tang Wenchai. I'm a postgraduate of Harbin Engineering University, China. Our topic today is experimental study on performance of an off-gas removal bypass system involved molten salt reactor. Unlike the PWRs, the molten salt reactor has a unique off-gas system as the yellow area shows. So, why is there an off-gas removal system in an MSR, and uh, what is the use of it? Online processing can be a great advantage of the MSR designs. It allows for continuous removal of some of the most powerful neutron poison, um, like uh, Delon and the Krypton. Continue, uh, removing Delon 135 makes the reactor safer and, and easier to restart. That means there is no dead time of the reactor after shutdown or power decrease, and there is no danger of release of this nuclear waste gas under different conditions. So how to remove Delon? Because noble gases and Delon krypton uh, have, have low in, uh, solub sol solubility in the fuel salt. We can remove them by injecting helium bubbles. If small helium bubbles are circulated with the fuel salt, they will absorb the long and the krypton fission products. The fission product rich bubbles may then be separated from the salt and uh, expired to the off gas handling system. You can know the process by this picture. <laughs> the off gas removal system contains two key devices a bubble generator and a bubble separator. Both of them are installed in a bypass around the pump. The flow rate of the bypass is 10% of the total flow rate. First, clean helium bubbles of 0.5 millimeter in diameter produced by the bubble generator are added to the fuel after several times circulation. The zeolon containing bubbles are then stripped out of the fuel by the bubble separator and then to the gas handling system. The bubble generator designed for molten salt reactor is actually a modified venturi tube. The gas is injected into small holes in the venturi tube throat, and turbulence in the diffuser cone generates the bubbles. Here are two pictures of the design bubble generator. You can notice that there is the annual gap outside the throat area. It was designed it was used for introducing gas. <coughs> An actual flow centrifugal type bubble separator was designed for bubble separation. Gas bubbles were, are, drive, are driven towards the center line after entering separator by the rich radial pressure gradient developed in the liquid vortex. The gas is connected in the center line and removed along with some entering liquid through the takeoff pores on both the upstream and downstream ends of the separator. The recovery vein strengthens out the fluid and recovers some of its energy. You can see that when the fluid passes through the sewer, enters the separator, the bubbles gather around in the center of the pipe to form a gas core. Then it was removed through these both through these two takeoff lines. In order to study the performance of the bubble generator and the separator, we awarded a test open loop was fabricated. The water was circulated by a centrifugal pump. The gas was produced by an air compressor and was stored in a gas tank. The water first flew through the bubble generator to pro produce more bubbles. It then passed through, passed through the bubble separator and flew back into the water tank. We used an entry liquid tank to collect the fluid out of the separator. The water test loop was tested at liquid flow rates of 14 to 22 cubic meter per hour and the gas flow rate of 0 to 2 liter per minute. The generated bubble diameter should be 0.5 millimeter in diameter or less. 
the void fraction should be between 0.1% and 0.2%. So how to, how to measure the bubbles diameter? The, bu the bubble diameter produced by the generator was measured by taking photos at the outlet of the generator. In order to eliminate the spatial distortion of the round pipe, we used a square plexiglass pipe. You can see this to take photos. Because the flow velocity is very high, we used a high-speed camera to take the bubble photos. The, the, the bubble diameter was measured by a powerful image processing software on the computer. The left figure shows the, shows the measuring process. The bubbles are very small. This is a video clip uh, taken by the camera. You can see that the bubbles outline are very clear. This can be easy to measure. The high, the high speed video camera was also used to study the um, break up break up phenomena. As I mentioned as I mentioned um, about as I mentioned before, the turbulence in the diffuser cone generates these tiny bubbles. So how does it work? Here's the short video of this of the bubble generator. You can see that with the rapid uh, pressure recovery in the diverging area, the bubble collapsed violently in this area. And then tiny bubbles were generated um, due to the uh, in surface instability of shrinking bubbles. The bubbles are big in this area, and uh, the tiny bubbles, you can see. I think it's very interesting. Here is the uh, um, result of the bubble diameter. The left figure shows the bubble distribution density with liquid flow rate at 20 cubic meter per hour and gas flow rate at 0 0.5 liter per minute. The void fraction is 0.3%. As the result shows, most of the bubbles generated were around the diameter of 0 0.5 millimeter. The volume average diameter is about 0 0.53 millimeter under this condition. Figure B indicates the results when increasing gas flow rate to 0 0.8 liter per minute. The void fraction is 0 0.2 percent. With the increase of void fraction, the number of bubbles with diameter over 0 0.5 millimeter was increased. But most of the bubbles were still around the diameter of 0 0.5 millimeter. The volume Average diameter is about 0 0.5 line millimeter in this condition. <laughs> Let's move to the performance of bubble suppressor. The bubble suppressor performance has been improved greatly by changing in several parameters. But we we changing the uh, veins of the number of the veins and uh, increase the up diameter and uh, increase the length of the of the beans, and uh, we decrease the um, outlet uh, out. We increase the outer angle to horizontal from um, 60 degrees to 40 degrees. This is this picture shows the earlier design. This is the Mm, final design. The final design tends to be a success. Central gas becomes much straighter and the efficiency is almost 100%. Here are two videos for further observation of the bubble separation um, progress. From this video, you can, sh you can see how the bubbles move in the, they move toward move toward the center. This video is uh, um, is the area um, before the recovery wins.
when the fluid and when the fluid enters the bubble separator, the swervings rotate the fluid and develop an artificial gravity field. This causes the bubbles to migrate to the gas field core at the center of the pipe. The gas then flows into takeoff lines which are located in the hub of both the swervings and the recovery vents. This is a video on taking behind the swervings. You can see there are so many bubbles in this area. This, this, this video is taken in front of the recovery vents. No bubbles were observed in this area. The suppression efficiency is almost 100%. So let's move to the conclusion. The water test loop has successfully completed the test on the design bubble generator and separator. The bubbles generated by the venturi tube, venturi type bubble generator can meet the requirement of distribution and size. Gas remover efficiency of the actual flow centrifugal high bubble separator is 100% under the design flow condition. Thanks for your attention. Okay, well, this is a presentation of our experimental approach. So, do you have any questions, gentlemen? Uh, my name is Yoshoka. Bubble generation is one of the key and essential technology for MSR. And uh, I think uh, your study is almost excellent as uh, Oak Ridge researchers. I have one question or some comment for your study. There is some difference. Your, your study is on um, using water. And air. And uh, there is some difference of the parameters uh, between water and uh, molten salt, especially for uh, the density and uh, viscosity. Uh, there are some kind of selection. Uh, to add more density or to add more viscosity to water, and uh, you can get uh, more uh, uh, advanced uh, studies on uh, Ridge people. That is my advice. What I've studied is just the first step of the research, and uh, the, mm, the results could be, could be helpful for the further study. First, I want to congratulate for your experimental results. But I want to ask the one question. In your separator uh, systems, you told us the separator efficiency is about uh, one, 100%. I want to know what kind of gas did you injected? What kind of gas? Yes. Air. I think maybe you, you used the, uh, the, only the air, the atmosphere. Air? Uh, just air. So, uh, in this case, I think you cannot see the uh, separate uh, uh, efficiency oh. is about yeah, one, 100%. So, uh, in the future, I recommend you, maybe you would better to inject uh, one kind of the air, for, for example, the carbon dioxide or, or the other gas. And then you can collect the carbon dioxide to match the, the carbon as a top composition. And then you can and know uh, what, uh, how many, how much is the uh, efficiency? And uh, an ask, I want to ask you an ask question. Uh, mm, I, now you tell us uh, only the experiment results. I want to know uh, what kind of plant uh, you, will you be, will you be, will you do? For example, do some Simulation. I think the design is based on the ORNL design, and we made some modi modification. Uh, I think uh, this maybe it is not the best uh, design. I think because this design is uh, belong to uh, 30 years before. Uh, uh, but uh, I think maybe you would better do some simulation. This is not my field. If someone asked me to design a bubble separator, I would just use gravity and mm. allow bubbles to come to the surface. Could you explain why your method is so much better? If we use just the gravity um, mechanism, the, sufficiency, uh, the, the separation process uh, is, uh, cannot be online processing. 
because the uh, separation process is uh, running um, during the operation, and the, the gravity is very slow, I think. If we use gravity, just use gravity. The viscosity of the water is, uh, uh, is uh, small, much smaller than the molten salt. So do you have any idea of how to improve this technique to the molten salt? We need further research and, and much more experiments to be taken to study the performance of molten salt if it were used in this uh, design. Uh, could I just make a comment on this work? I think your work is very beautiful. Thank you. And uh, certainly the design of the equipment is, is, is excellent. Um, but if you did want to move to higher viscosities and actually do the measurements on the molten salt itself, you could think about using neutron radiography, which would see straight through the molten salt. And by using uh, bubbles of, for example, helium-3, you would be able to see the bubble motion directly through the molten salt. So it may be worth thinking later in your PhD about modifying the apparatus to do neutron tomography on the molten salt and bubbles.